Hard Chat. Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by celebrity publicist Roxy Jasenko. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Time Let's to get nervous. Let's chat. <laughs> Hard! Who are you? Just a simple <laughs> blonde PR girl. I must admit, before this, I hadn't heard of you. And you're a publicist, so is that your fault? Yeah, possibly. But I hadn't heard of you either. Oh, really? No. I'm really high profile. <laughs> your PR firm is called Sweaty Betty. Why? Yeah, random. I don't know what I was thinking. 18 and needed a name. Reminds me of a tuck shop worker on a hot day. Or a bottle. Oh, mm. I didn't think of it like that. 27 girls in an office, yeah. <laughs> You're Insta-famous. I'd say you're famous on Instagram. When you walk down the street, do you only get recognised if you pout? Well, no, actually, I've not got that much in my lips at the moment, so they probably wouldn't recognise me anyway. Oh. They've deflated considerably. Now, you're an influencer. How much do you get paid to flog dodgy product? Thousands. And really? I don't, hang on, I don't flog dodgy. I flog it if I use it. Oh. If I don't like it, I don't flog it. So you only flog things that you use anyway? I will... Promote, promote an item Flog if... an item. <laughs> Flog, promote, mm. share an item if I like it. And I use it. I won't if I don't. So you're a professional flog. <laughs> How many of your 200,000 followers are hate followers? Oh, I, probably 100,000. Oh, it's about half-half. <laughs> yeah. So there's the people who follow you, they're genuine fans, and then other the other half are just like, what the f*** is this about? <laughs> Basically. Well, you didn't you spend $30,000 on a kid's birthday party? Ah, uh, yes. Did you just hire a bouncy castle and then spend the other 25 k on, uh, you know, things to amuse the adults, if you know what I mean? No, it's not really my bag. I mean, pardon the Snap pun. What? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stop sniffing. Um, it was a big weekend. Anyway. <laughs> now, your husband went to jail for insider trading. Do you have any stock market tips? No, don't buy shares. When he was in jail, you were photographed kissing your ex. Was that outside of trading? Yeah, that was definitely outside of trading. You were on season three of Celebrity Apprentice. How did you do that without being a celebrity? Yeah, I was at the bottom of the Richter scale on that one. You were beaten by Stephanie Rice. How? I don't know. When she won, did she say suck on that f Ah, uh, basically, yeah. What a pleasure that girl is. Not a fan? Nah. She might be good in the pool, but she's not so good person to person. You wrote a book called Strictly Confidential, a Jazzy Lou novel about the Sydney socialite scene. Is it hard to sell books to people who can't read? <laughs> oh, well, easy to read. Oh, how easy? Easy enough that there's three of them. Who, who's the ghostwriter? Not telling. Peter Fitzsimons? Oh, definitely not. OK. Could have turned it into a history of the eastern suburbs. <laughs> Do you think this will end up on news.com.au? Possibly. What face will they use of you? They'll use this face of me. That's what they usually of use. Me. Now you work in PR. How would you publicise my brand? Well, first I get you on Instagram. Right. Then I need to get your city to a few functions because you're not around enough. What events would you invite me to? I could always get you to a few fashion shows. I mean, you are a very dapper dresser. Well, I'm dressed by ABC wardrobe, so. Very nice of you. Yeah, it's um. Fits you beautifully. This shirt's. Got polyester in it, a bit sweaty. Yeah, no, I was going to say you're looking a bit hot. All right, Roxy, thanks for chatting. Hard! We have to go already? Yeah, that's it. Oh. I've, I've had enough. <laughs>